This is a historic low volume basal application site here. First Energy and the predecessor utilities have been involved with State Game Lands 33 research project since its inception back in the early 1950s. Personally, I've been involved with it since 2007. The research itself means it's invaluable to us. We feel that this research provides us more credibility with the tools and the, the practices that we use to maintain the, the reliability of the transmission system. The ultimate reason for the, the research was, a collaborate, was to collaborate with the Pennsylvania State Gain Commission because there was a concern that the maintenance that was going to occur and some of the tools that were going to be used to maintain the rights of ways were going to harm the animals, game species specifically. The research has changed through the years. We're uh, doing more with birds and bird reproduction, insects, the whole pollinator subject and the importance of that. And now, starting this year and moving forward, we're going to look at ground beetles, which is going to be another indicator of ecosystem health and viability. The work that we've done here for over 60 years on this research project, we've proven that through integrated vegetation management, you can maintain safe and reliable plant communities that are beneficial to the environment. Ultimately, it takes a bunch of different tools to accomplish maintaining safe and reliable transmission of electricity. It, it takes hand cutting, it could be mowing, it could be treating uh, incompatible brush with a backpack or treating incompatible brush with a hydraulic sprayer. So by removing the tall growing species, we're allowing them to continue to grow and flourish rather than just being outcompeted. I think a key point is that those native plant communities that we're trying to cultivate here are the most desirable for some of our most sensitive uh, insects and animals. When we have, we're able to utilize integrative vegetation management, utilize the tools that we need based on the site conditions, a lot of times the next time we come through a maintenance, there's no work at all to do. That is the best of both worlds. It just so happens and it's very convenient and we're excited about it and we're passionate about it that those plant communities that we're maintaining, those diverse early successional plant communities, are beneficial to insects and it fits in nice with the communities that we work because we're creating that diverse habitat. The research means a lot to us. It validates the industry's best management practices. 